Let's go. Hey, fellas, do you know how it's been a joke since the dawn of time that about once a month it's probably the smart move to find a way to get out of the house, you know, after you've washed the dishes, done the laundry, mowed the yard, cleaned the bathroom, shipped the kids off to vacation, Uyghur camp in China for a couple of weeks, paid the bills, repainted the house, bought your wife about 10 pounds of chocolate and a few diamonds. Yeah, well, guess what? Thanks to Anthony Fauci and pals, a.k.a. The Science, all of that might be about to get a whole lot worse. Let me read you a headline that should chill you to the bone. Here it is. Quote, largest study to date finds alarming percentage of women experienced menstrual cycle changes after receiving COVID vaccines, end quote. Okay, my first thought upon reading this was, Thank God Trump didn't get all of the wall built when men might have a place. We're going to need a place to run. Those uh, Latinx women south of the border might be known for their tempers, but they ain't got nothing on Karen with a particularly awful visit from Aunt Flo. So let's talk about this study, shall we? Over 39,000 adults around the world from 18 to 80, all of whom received two doses of the COVID vaccine, were a part of the study. And this is with the Pfizer and Moderna and AstraZeneca, the Johnson & Johnson and the Novavax. 42%, I'll repeat that, 42% of the participants said they experienced heavier bleeding during their menstrual cycle afterwards. And get this, 66% of the 673 women who were postmenopausal started bleeding again. Sweet Jesus, what have we done? We've created monsters. 39% of the 280 people on gender-affirming hormones also reported breakthrough bleeding. But how can that be possible? Women can be men, and men don't bleed from their manginas. How in the world are we going to square that particular circle, Dr. Fauci? Will it be with, you know, interfering with the trans folk that finally gets your sorry old ass hauled in front of some kind of tribunal? Don't mess with the trans folk. Don't mess with the trans folk. Anyway, here's the thing, folks. We here at The Blaze took all kinds of flack during the pandemic for showing a healthy amount of skepticism about a series of the blah-blah jabs that were developed quickly and with comparatively little testing before its release. But how could anyone possibly be surprised at something that was dispersed out all over the world to hundreds of millions, even billions of people, not to have some negative side effects in a non-zero subset of the population? Look, I didn't push the panic button then. I'm not pushing it now. At least not exactly, but I'm not married at the moment, so I'm apt to survive this whole thing no matter what I say to you. But you can't look at something like this and tell me that all those sneering, jeering leftists who spewed and continue to spew bile about people being anti-science don't have some splaining to do right now. But if you think you're going to get it from them, I hope you're prepared to wait a while because it's not going to happen. Just not going to happen. It wouldn't matter if the vaccine swooped in and killed half the population and turned the other half into potatoes with legs. The adherence to the religion of scientism would still march in the parade with the flag of the science billowing high above them. That's the thing that, you know, that's the thing that we have to realize, folks. And I know most of you do. I most I most of you do. We're not just fighting against a prevalent ideology. We're fighting a religion, a religion. It's not just scientism. That's one denomination of a giant church of leftism. It's alive and well today. Services are every day, and the offering plate looks an awful lot like an altar for human sacrifice. Supplicants, beware. How's your bleeding? Um Interesting question, Ed. I didn't think that you were going to ask me at this particular moment. Um, I would say I never normal. want to piss off a big booty Latina. I would say normal. You okay? My bleeding is normal. I didn't know if you're bleeding right now. I'm not. You're on a white couch. <laughs> yep, I'm good. Somebody, could y'all, could y'all bring her a towel? <laughs> I'm good.